Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Cloudy sky, still a little light rain moving through parts of our area, and that's going to be the story for the next several hours here in Central Texas. Again, nothing severe out there, but it's kind of chilly out there. 40s and some low 50s. That's it. Temperature wise, here's our exclusive Viper radar. Our first stop in will take you into the Waco area, McLennan County. Some widely uh, Light to moderate showers running through parts of the air. We even had a clap of thunder earlier. Nothing major for the most part, but it all racing off to the northeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour over toward Bosque County. You can see Hillsboro in and out of some uh, moderate rainfall and some light rainfall. Also the same story over toward Clifton. We're kind of drying it out just a little bit in the northern part there of Coryell County and yeah, down toward Bell County. I don't see any rainfall out there. Doesn't mean you're not seeing a sprinkle, but uh, pretty quiet conditions for the most part in Temple over toward Belton and Colleen, and there's the Brazos Valley all looking pretty good at this time. Had some uh, scattered rain showers, some isolated thunder around the Franklin area. That's all pushing along uh, uh, a line heading through Centerville and then uh, again up toward the the, uh, the northeast heading right across uh, parts of Interstate 45. Here's our water vapor look. This is our, va or our loop basically showing us where the moisture is in the atmosphere. You can kind of see where the spin is. Notice a little spin right there. That's an upper level low out ahead of it. Some scattered rain shower and some isolated storms and this orange color. That's the drier air, so it's actually wrapping around some drier air that's beginning to push in. The drier air will start to push our clouds out here overnight and also provide us with some pretty quiet conditions as we end the work week. Now here's our future cast at seven o'clock this evening, mainly cloudy skies. I do think there still be uh, a, a, spot, a passing or a spotty shower here or there for some of us. That's going to quickly begin to uh, clear out here. And I do think overnight tonight, some of us will see clear skies develop, especially off to the west. So tomorrow morning, we are talking partly to mostly clear skies. And then by mid morning, mostly sunny skies across the board. By noontime, temperatures in the 60s. And look at this low to mid 70s expected tomorrow. So much warmer than it has been over the last couple of nights. You'll notice your Friday night looking pretty good. Not too active weather wise. A few clouds move in, but these are some low clouds. So I do think Saturday morning this area right here could see some patchy fog. This is the Brazos Valley, but with that sunshine out there, watch what happens. The sunshine gets rid of the fog. It evaporates and we are looking at temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s as we hit the afternoon. So again, big time warm up on the way starting tomorrow. By Saturday, you can see low to mid 80s by the afternoon. So we go right back into above normal temperatures here in our area tonight, though, still some pockets of light rain throughout the evening. I think by nine o'clock, most of it will be done. If you're going to be in East Texas, that's where we'll still see some spotty rain. Nothing severe out there. Otherwise, partly to mostly cloudy skies. 39 degrees will be the low and then skies becoming sunny tomorrow should be a nice Friday. And also uh, March 1st, right? 72 degrees, the high, which is above average south winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we look ahead, the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by the Alliance Electrical Group. Then we jump into those 80s, 81 degrees on Saturday, 80 on Sunday, 80 degrees on Monday. Just slight chances of some scattered rain showers. We're going to watch these fronts as they move through. It's going to be warm enough that we could spark off a thunderstorm or two, but temperatures will be above normal in the low to mid 70s for a good part of next week. And of course, nighttime lows will also start to come up too into the 50s and lower 60s. So some very warm air on top of us and then down toward Bryan and College Station 68 tomorrow. As we clear it out, a lot of sunshine, a little fog to start the weekend, but then sunshine Saturday afternoon looking good on Sunday. Hit and miss rain, nothing major right now with upper 70s for most of the week. And again, next Sunday is when we turn the clocks forward one hour. But until then, enjoy your extra hour of sleep. <laughs>